All right, and here in the PBA Doubles Classic at the Showboat in Las Vegas, we go into our third match, the semifinal match, and Hugh Miller will shoot first, the 33-year-old pro from Seattle, who's won four tournaments, and his partner from Freehold, New Jersey, Parker Bone the third, three titles to his credit. Leaving a seven pin. Bob, pick it up. Quickly and bringing in Chris uh, Pete Weber. Uh, Pete, no real power players in the championship field this week. Ten players and yet uh, no big crankers. Uh, what's the story? Well, I, I think the heads had a lot to do with it this week. The heads are they're real bouncy. The, sometimes the ball bounces out under the lane and it'll go in the direction in which you throw it. And it wasn't very good for the big hook ball players this week. The heads, obviously, the first seven feet of the lane, those lay down area. Relatively straight for the seven pin, Hugh Miller. Curtis Odom and his partner Adam Colton upset Matt Carlson and Scott Devers 205 to 200. And here is Odom. Curtis Odom, a nice control player, mixes accuracy and power, short backswing, good wrist action. Coming up high, 3610 for Odom. Pete, with you here a week from today, the seniors. We look forward to it, of course, another generation. Hall of Famer, your dad, Dick Weber, will be competing. Yeah, he's uh, he's been practicing more in the last week and a half than he has, I think, the whole year. The old pride's coming out in the... Yeah, he, I think he's ready to win again. Earl Anthony will be here, 280 seniors. Hmm, should be very popular. Next Saturday on ABC, now Odom, the 3610. Well done. For both teams. Adam Colton, who came through in the last three frames, his last three attempts, the sixth, eighth, and tenth frame on the left hand lane, should have should feel much better, much more relaxed, and this team could get cooking right here if Colton can stay around the pocket. Odom knows how to win. I hit four, six, seven, ten. Not much you can do about that, as Curtis Odom doesn't like that either, is he, all that he can do is hopefully get the ball over in the 6-10 zone and maybe slide one of the pins over there and get, rattle the four into the seven, but a very difficult shot. Basically, just go for the two. So, a 16-pin lead for Parker Bone the third, who is wearing a wireless microphone, as you see there, on his chest. His partner, Hugh Miller. Hugh Miller, Parker Bones partner, partner, one of the really top condition players out here, has run a marathon and still jogs six to eight miles a day. Obviously, it shows up on the bowling lanes as he is well conditioned and can go the distance. Oh, yes. Good power from the two left handers on the team. It's all right handers uh, in our championship match. At least the opponents will be Steve Wunderlich and uh, David Ozio. Curtis. Got a lot of his experience on the PBA Regional Tour and at Winston-Salem College, where he bowled for a couple of years in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well, that was a relief after an open frame by this doubles pair. We see right there, Odom picked up his speed. He was kind of tentative in the first frame. And once again, Colton had that same problem in the early going as there's a man with vested interest in the result of this man's ball. They need a double to cut the lead down to 16 pins. Seven pin. Losers of this match will receive um, $10,000. What a bad break. Watch the action of the four pin, the second pin on the left-hand part of your screen. The two drives the four straight back. Normally, the four would take out the seven. Very unlucky break in the fourth frame. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is a big part of Clark County. 
and as we mentioned earlier, the size of the state of Massachusetts. And gaming machines, thousands of them. Fun. Against pole sitter Rick Mears, Emerson Fittipaldi, and all the others in the Miller event. The Miller Genuine oh, Draft Challenge as Parker Bone cheers that shot on. He's been perfect up to this point. Here's Bo. Thank you, Chris. The tournament leaders, uh, you guys have always bowled well together. David Ozio, Stephen Wonderlich. What is the catalyst that makes your team so good, and what did you do so well this week? Well, uh, I believe that we gel well together. Um, we help each other with our games. More importantly, help each other line up. And uh, when one guy's faltering a little bit, the other guy helps picks the other guy up. You know, and that's the the key issue there. It's more mental than physical. So. Uh, this week, I happened to have a, a little bit better shot than Steve and, you know, took advantage of it, and uh, he just uh, stuck with it and hung in there more mentally than anything. And I'll tell you what, that's very demanding. How about you, Steve? Well, I had a great horse this week, and I, w I had Tucker Terry all the way to the finish line, and we snuck in b by a head. So uh, I think we're going to do it again today. All right, back to you, Chris. All right. Hugh Miller and his partner, Parker Bone, have different ideas, and so do Curtis Odom and... Adam Colton. It's our third game of the afternoon. If you just joined us in the first, Larry Lobb and Bobby Knepple were defeated by Scott Devers, Matt Carlson, 235 to 171. And then Odom and Colton upset Devers and Carlton, 205 to 200. Here's Odom. Be there. Yeah. His request was granted. Be there. Pete Weber, uh, the team is trailing. What would you say to your partner as we see Curtis Odom just ripping the five out, just driving it over in the seven and reacting very vocally to that strike? What would you say to your partner? You're trailing by 35, strike up, six frame. What do you say? Well, I just have to say stuff him. Throw the best ball you can and stuff him. He threw a pretty good ball in the fourth frame, got the solid seven, and right now he needs another strike to keep it close. And he's faced now with a 310. Well, as Pete Weber just said, he tried to stuff it, but he was a little bit soft with the speed, drifted high. has left a fairly easy split to make, the 310. Get the ball over by the three pin, let the ball deflect into the 10. Very simply, the ball does most of the work. Big.